Hello everyone, my name is Blade, I'm a talent one trick, my highest rank with the champion is Master, and this is your guide to Diamond. First things first, why would we choose Talon? Well, he's the best roaming assassin in the game. Talon has the fastest burst between all AD assassins, and he hard carry games. However, Talon has the weakest laning phase among all assassins in the mid lane. He also has a weird game style from other assassins, which makes him difficult to play. Lastly, like all AD assassins, he struggles when he is behind. So, let's have a quick review on Talon's ability. His passive is a bleed effect that can be triggered after auto attacking an enemy with 3 stacks of bleed. Talon first ability can be used in two different ways. First is from a distance which allow Talon to blink towards his target. The second way is a melee that will critically strike. Note that Talon Q can reset his auto attack meaning you can auto attack then Q to auto attack immediately again. This is really crucial against melee champions. Talon's second ability is to throw three daggers that returns slowing any targets. This ability gives him two stacks of bleed. Talon's third ability allows him to jump over structure and terrain. This ability alone makes Talon one of the best roaming champion in the game. Lastly, Talon ultimate throws daggers from all directions and become invisible in 2.5 seconds. Now for the combos that you need to know. Before level 6, there's two main combos. The first one is W, getting two bleed stacks, then Q, auto, to proc your passive. The second combo is W, auto, Q, auto. This combo has the highest damage before level 6. In most cases, the second combo will not be doable unless you flash. For example, you W, flash, auto, Q, auto. After reaching level 6, there's three combos you need to know. The first combo is the fastest burst possible, which is WQR. Now, the second combo is WR auto Q auto. This is the highest damage combo of the level 6. The last combo is QWR auto. This combo is combo to catch people who's trying to run from you. Now we go to runes and build. Talon has two kinds of build. First one is bruiser. The second one is assassin. The only situation that you want to, to build bruiser is when the enemy team has three or more melee champions. If you're going bruiser, you want to take the conqueror keystone with inspiration as the secondary runes. To be honest, any other secondary runes will most likely work. The items that you take as a bruiser are Eclipse, then Sunder Sky, then Black Lever, then Serax. For the last item, any defensive items will work. For the boots, you either take Mercs or Plated Seal. On the other hand, Assassin Build is always good. There are two main runes that you want to consider, Electrocute and First Strike. I personally like First Strike more since it generates gold and scales better. If you're going first strike, you always want to take sorcery as your secondary rune. This because minion dematerializer and absolute focus will allow talent devilu to one shot the caster minions at level 7. As for the items, the first item you want to rush is either eclipse or cosplay. Now I tend to take eclipse more because eclipse has a built haste. As for the second item, you want to take Profane Hydra or Ghost Bait if you haven't built it as the first item. For your third item, you can choose between Edge of Night or Serolda's Grudge. But remember, you can only build Edge of Night as your third item if the enemy is not building any armor. For your last item, you can build any defensive item. For the boots, I generally take Lucidity Boots because I like Ability Haste. However, Swiftness is still a viable choice. Now, the last thing you need to know is laning phase and team fights. Unfortunately, 
This topic is the longest and has the most details, therefore I will make a separate video in a few days explaining in depth what are the things you need to know and accomplish in the laning phase to get a lead. I will also discuss different matchups, specifically how talent is supposed to trade and play in the lane. In addition, I will explain how to position teamfights and how to select your target to assassinate. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, please write down in the comment section or make sure to read it. Take care everyone.